All right, guys, just as a brief little recap, I'm not going to go too deep into the nitty gritty details because most of the earnings call is just Elon trying to convince you that Tesla is the most valuable company in the world and you should pour all of your life savings into its stock. The two things I think most Tesla owners should be aware of is Elon basically admitted on this earnings call that hardware three is not going to be enough to support unsupervised full self-driving. And he said the people who bought full self-driving on their hardware three Teslas are going to get a free FSD computer upgrade. Now, I would not go out and buy FSD right this second. Elon's words on these calls are not legally binding, so don't take his word for it because there's a good chance it might take years for Tesla to actually get around and start doing this. We don't know the extent of what upgrades are required because Tesla hasn't rolled out unsupervised full self-driving yet, but that's probably the second piece of big news from the earnings call. He mentioned that they intend on launching unsupervised robo taxi fleets in austin texas this june will they actually hit that timeline wouldn't be the first time that they end up delaying something but at least it's getting a bit more precise now which makes it feel a little bit more real but again we don't know how rapid the rollout will be he said it's going to be in austin is that within austin city limits or is it within eight city blocks we just don't know yet there's not enough information to go off of to make really calculated decisions but i I just heard through Twitter that there's basically a bunch of people now with hardware three Teslas that are thinking they need to buy full self-driving right now. And I would advise against it, at least until we know a little bit more, or maybe we could think about it if Tesla announces a price hike of some kind. Like if they start raising the price of FSD again to 10,000 or 12,000, then we'll talk about whether or not it's worth buying. But at least right now, you're probably better off waiting until we know more because it might end up requiring camera replacements or or it might just be a computer replacement. So because Tesla is so uncertain with what exact hardware is necessary for unsupervised full self-driving, I don't think you should start spending a bunch of money on it just yet. Because I remember very clearly back in 2019 for Tesla's autonomy day, they unveiled this hardware three computer and they were insistent that this computer could easily be 10 times safer than a human. And you wouldn't need hardware four for unsupervised only for all these years to go by. And now here, Elon officially say on the call, the honest answer is that we're going to need to do retrofits for hardware three and it's going to be hard and it's going to suck, but we're going to get it done. But that's really all he said. He didn't give a timeline on it. So please don't go running around bothering your local Tesla service technicians because they probably are hearing all of this at the exact same time we are. I doubt Elon was sending out emails and memos to people that we need to upgrade the hardware three computer. Sounded like the software engineers on the call are still trying their best to get as great a performance as they can. But you know, there was a time Tesla was saying this would be enough to make a robo taxi. And now they're saying it's not enough. So hopefully hardware four is enough. And they feel somewhat confident that they can roll out a paid robo taxi service in Austin, Texas this June. We'll see if they actually do that. And I think the future rollout of unsupervised robo taxis in more and more places is going to be dependent on how smoothly it goes in Austin. It might go really well, or it could go horribly. There might be a bunch of issues and then that could get a bunch of state governments worried if they find out that there were injuries or problems with the robo taxis. You know, Tesla still doesn't have a robo taxi fleet as large or as capable as Waymo's right now. Maybe that'll change in the not too distant future. I hope it does. I would love to ride around in one, especially in the Bay Area, because I see Waymo's there all the time. So I feel like Tesla's got some catching up to do in at least a couple jurisdictions. But what do you guys think? Does this make you more interested in getting FSD, knowing that it might come with a free hardware upgrade? Or are you ticked off that Tesla actually made these promises for six years now, claiming over and over again that hardware three was going to be enough only for it now not to be enough? I would say this kind of is a bummer if you're the kind of person that likes subscribing to FSD with your hardware three Tesla, because very likely you're not going to be able to just pay a hundred bucks for a month and then have the computer upgrade. Because you didn't pay for it outright, Tesla's going to expect those people to shill out a couple grand like likely to upgrade the full self-driving computer. And then you got to pay a hundred bucks a month for it. So this changes things for many reasons, but I'm curious what you guys think. Drop it down in the comments below. And thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.